what is up everybody it's gorilla man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video we are back on estancia la pacha if you guys remember last episode we got the pigs sort of set up and going uh just a little bit let me show you guys we got the pigs some water and some straw uh today we'll be giving them corn wheat barley sunflowers but we won't we don't have any uh potatoes or sugar beets so we won't do that exactly right now um, but we will try and get them planted in the next few episodes here. But we're going to be getting pigs going. We will have pigs by the end of this episode. That is the main plan. All right, so let's just... I'm just going to kick kick it off with that. We're just going to keep going. All right, so I need to... We're going to use uh, the trucks. And we're going to be bringing over corn and wheat or barley. I probably should have a tractor doing this, as you can see. Look at that. It's just... Uh, pulling me down because I don't know this thing definitely with this with this uh, trailer on the back you can never haul something this heavy but uh it looks like we're just gonna do it anyways honestly all right so oh that's so loud okay okay um let's go with corn so load it up uh, no barley we got oh no corn okay we'll go with some soybeans then uh because we don't have anything else and uh oh there we go everything went down okay so we'll load up how much soybeans do they take 20 percent. so we'll only take about three thousand there we go that's a good amount that's not terrible all right we'll pull forward right here We'll just leave that guy there. Uh, let me turn down my vehicle volume. It's at 10%. It's still crazy loud. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, and then we will be grabbing. Uh, which one was it next? I don't remember, guys. Which one was it? We just grabbed sunflowers and wheat and barley. It's 25%. So we'll grab 4,000. We can hold plenty, so. All right, so all we got next is, I think that should be it. Corn is their base food, so it's their main diet, which sucks that we don't have any. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'll pro I guess I'll try and plant corn real quick and get them. Uh, probably by the time, by the end of the episode, we'll have it going. We'll have pigs, but we won't have corn. All right, we will go. How far are we going to follow him? 30 feet? Uh, 30 meters? Let's go with 45 meters so he doesn't crash into us. Getting our follower set up here. So we got the follow me mod set. Yep, there we go. He's on his way. We're on the road again. All right, so we're going to go all the way over to the top right, if you guys remember. That is exactly where the pig farm is. Um, let's see. Let's go left. And I'm going to cut back in onto our field over here because it'll be a little bit quicker if we go this way than uh, all the way throughout the roads and everything. Oh, here. We'll, just, we'll cut over here. No, not at the gate. Cut in front of the gate. Oh, I never checked the inside of here before. This inside is not quite finished. All right, he's following us. Oh, he's stuck behind traffic. That's why. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right, he's coming. No need to worry about him. I just can't get too far away, otherwise we'll lose the follower. Let's go. Okay, he's actually catching up to me now. All right, so our canola is done. That far right one is not done yet, but everything else is. So we will get a, a harvester going on that in just a second. Uh, I'm really hoping that it's gonna be a really thick, good harvest because we did a ton of fertilizing and spraying. Once we put down, we waited for one grow cycle, put some more down, waited another grow cycle, and then we put some more down. Three state fertilizer. So, oh, this isn't our place. What am I doing right here? So, three state fertilizer. So, we should be getting near like maximum productivity. All we could have done that would have added a little bit was it could have weeded, but I've never uh, weeded before. Um, so, I just decided not to do that. If you, I don't know. Have you guys done the weeders before if you have comment down below let me know does it really help that much like is it really worth it or is it just kind of a waste of the money and time that's what i'm thinking it is 
Alright, can I get this guy off of me? I can't, I can't. I have to hop in his car and tell him to stop. Alright, hopefully he'll just chill there for a minute. Alright. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a shed down here really quick and we are gonna put all of our stuff inside this shed because we're gonna have a ton of stuff and I'm not gonna be driving everything back and forth every single time. That's just a waste of gas, waste of everything, so. Small storage shelter. We'll go around here. Let's see, so I don't think we'll really need to be using this area right here too terribly much. We'll probably go back over here. Yeah, this is a good spot. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our remaining stuff in there because we don't wanna waste this. Alright. There you go, I stopped them. So she's no longer following me. I didn't grab two things a week, did I? Crap. I think I grabbed two things a week. You guys probably saw me do that, and you're like, no. All right, I got two things to eat. That's fine. I only gotta grab one more thing, anyways. We just ex I just accidentally wasted a trip. All right, and we will dump right there. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Uh, there we go. See, that zipper right there takes absolutely forever to dump, so... In the time it takes that one to dump, I can hop in this one, pull it around, back it in, and be done. I think he just finished. Alright. Come on. Alright, we'll get it going. Yep, there was not much in there. Alright, bring her back down there, Kimo Sabe. Alright, bring you back down. And then we'll do a follow. Uh, we'll have this one follow again. What's the distance? 40? Alright, that'll work for me. Alright, let's get up on out of here. So now all we really need is we need to bring over... Ooh, I need to get a low... Oh, I should, I should just get a... Uh, trailer for the semi and I should just bring over a uh, cat when I come over here actually when I bring over the uh, Soybeans I should just bring a cat uh, a new cat loader or I should just grab a Massey I'll probably bring that Massey over here and just buy another one or I'll buy a small star one because the star ones are really nice All right, we got helper N. we got Ned following us Unless it's, unless it's a girl then then Nancy Nancy's her name I just need to make sure I remember these names. All right, so we get back. Ooh. Okay, well, when we get back, I will switch out this trailer, get rid of this thing, because this thing is just too much weight for me. She's throwing me off balance. And I'll grab the small one from the Ford. I'll park the Ford in. Uh, we will get our uh, combine going, because he, uh, he needs to get going with his harvest here. So actually, that reminds me, we will set this off to the side then over here because we'll need this for the harvest. Oh, let's see. Let's drop that. Hopefully that guy doesn't plow through that trailer. And he plowed through the trailer. All right, Ned with a bucket hat, you just lost your job. You just totaled this entire Ford, so good job, man. Good job. Okay, there you go, drop that off. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this Ford now. I'm gonna go park it in the garage, the gay garage. I'll pull in here, nice. Make sure I don't go through anything. Oh, glitching through there, couldn't see. Shut her off. All right, now, while I wait for that. Uh-oh. I just remembered something. Ah, oh, crap. Our, uh... I think our header is stuck over... here. 
Yep. Mmm. Dang it. All right. What do what do we used to do? Canola. I forget. I'm pretty sure that's the one I need is over there. If it's not, that's great. Nope. That's the one we need. Yep. It does canola. All right. Let's drive this bad boy over here. We're gonna go grab our header really quick, or really quick, really slow. Actually, we're gonna grab our header really slow. We're gonna come back, and I'm gonna get this guy set up and going. Um, because as we're running back and forth, uh, getting set up for our pigs here, I want to be utilizing all of our time. I have so much wasted space here on this field, actually. That's really, that's kind of a bummer. I don't know. We should be good, though. That This field here, harvesting what it's at right now, probably make us a few hundred grand. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but by the end of this video, I'll kind of have a good guess, and I will finish the harvest. Um... Probably in the next video, I'll finish it. I'm just trying to get it started, get everything set up, and get everything working for it. Um, but here, I'm going to run over here really quick, grab this, and get everything set up. So give me just a second, everybody. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, because I like your attitude. Let's forget about curfew this all that is stuck in my head it's me and you all speed in my heart is racing but i'm not sure i wanna place it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true All right, everybody, I got that all set up as you guys saw there. I got the Ninja ready, I got the Case Optima, I got the, uh, what do you call it, Tipper. I got all that stuff set up, ready to go. So that is just gonna be going, and we can just pop over, empty it, and do what we need to do when when we need to do it. Uh, shouldn't be too much. So what was the diet again? Was it 25% soybeans? 20%, okay. So we will take a little bit less. How much did it say I had? Those sunflowers, okay. Cap it at about 27. That'll be a good, that's a good solid amount for us. All right. Let's whip it on back. I should really be using something else other than this truck. I feel like I'm just gonna absolutely destroy it and I can feel it's struggling. It's honestly really struggling with all this. I probably shouldn't have had it raised. The raised truck probably does not help a lot. Or lifted truck. The lift truck, lifted truck does not help a lot. Mm, okay. So from my guesses from here, guys, we're gonna be making probably close to about half a million dollars from what I've already seen. I sent it off and it basically hit like a thousand. It was gonna hit a thousand in like the first, less than the first row. So that's like, 2000 ish a row plus and that's about three thousand dollars so it's about six thousand a row it's probably like 40 rows it's got to do so there's i mean math's sake it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good probably i'm i'm hoping 500,000 low probably 300,000 uh but you know everybody let's just let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best because we need to pay off some loans and we need to uh stop leasing some stuff and purchase it instead all right Take my soybeans. It's gonna stop soon, right? Okay, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> we might have done something wrong. All right, so wheat is right there, so we're gonna dump the soybeans off to the left. So we shouldn't need too much. And I could have done pig food instead of doing all this, like some of you guys commented. Some of you guys are like, oh, grill man, just do pig food. Um, I would agree pig food is easier, but it's not cheaper so that is my one thing because this is easy i had a ton of this stuff already all i gotta do is get some potatoes down which don't take any time at all really i mean it's just kind of a pain in the butt to be honest with you um but other than that i had everything else except for corn i need to get corn down uh, but i just went through and i did an entire harvest on corn so that's my fault for not keeping a little bit of it i just converted it all over to uh chaff which dumb mistake by my part but 
we got everything else. So pigs aren't really costing us anything. Uh, just a little bit for leasing fees for our uh, potatoes. Because we're just going to lease and then we're just getting rid of it. We got no point to have it. Um, potatoes and beets aren't really too uh, necessary in my opinion. We got four, four done. All right, so this will be full. So we got five. So just missing these ones. And these are the needed ones. These top three, I guess is what you would say. So we're going to really need those corn here. Yeah, we're going to really, really need that corn. Okay. Once this field right here finishes, um, I'll get corn planted. I won't do it in the entire field in corn, but I will get it planted. And uh, that's what we'll be using for it. So it won't be too bad. I don't think so. Um, but we are going to go pick up some oinkers in the meantime. Let's see here. Drop that guy. And we're not taking the truck with us. Because I just broke it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go grab our Peterbilt here in a second. Let me just struggle my way, struggle bus through here. Let's see now. We will park it off to the side of this place because it doesn't actually fit inside the uh, garage. Oh, there we go. This is a nice spot. Nice spot right in the driveway. Uh oh, we're still rolling. Oh, I shut it off and the car is still rolling. All right. Let's go hop in our Peterbilt. Should have checked and see how full that dude was. Alrighty. Do I got a hitch on here? I don't. Ooh. So. Where is that? Animals? Animals, animals, animals. Okay. Well, we don't need animals. Oh, we don't have our Winston uh, livestock trailer in here. So, instead, oh no, is there any way to get up there? Oh, there is. Yes, they have a field right next to it. Our saviors. And they can just TP over to that. Because I didn't have any machines here, so I couldn't just come over here. So, what we're going to do instead is we are going to just buy, what? how much is the fee? 100 buck delivery fee is not too shabby. I, I'm going to take it. It's worth it. So, if you guys don't know, let me go through pigs really quick for you. Pigs, let me buy these. Uh, so uh, and confirm. So our piggies here, the way that they work is they do not produce you anything of value, i.e. Um, rep or not reproduction, productivity. So they don't make milk, they don't make wool. Uh, so what they do is uh, pigs reproduce. So the whole point of pigs is that they're gonna reproduce, they're gonna be making, see look at this, it's like the reproduction rate, even at half productivity, still, that's a third of what the cows is. The whole point of these guys is to make them, is to reproduce them, get as many of them as possible. So your pig should just be duplicating or like just getting crazy as you go on. Um, I don't think it's exponential or anything, if you guys know what that means. Um, but the whole point is just to get pigs, reproduce them, sell more pigs, and just have it keep going. So once you hit like a solid number, I really shouldn't ever have to buy any more pigs. All we should ever really be doing right here is selling pigs. I guess I do lose a hundred bucks fee. So for selling them, I'll probably, I'll probably uh, be transporting them because I don't want to be losing all that money because that's a lot of money, especially after a while with a lot of pigs. But as you guys can see here, that's kind of the gist of it and how it works. So it's not too terribly hard. Pigs are. Pigs are pretty easy and simple. They don't really, you don't really do much. I mean, they're not like sheep simple, but they're not too bad. Anyways, guys, I'm going to finish our canola harvest here and I will fill you guys in next episode with the price I pull in. If you guys have any idea of the price, I want you guys to leave a comment down below and a guess. If you guys, if I see somebody guess it correctly by the time I do next video, I will, ooh, he, that guy just farted right there. What the heck, man? I'm getting out of here. But if I see somebody comment the correct number that we harvest with, I will give you a shout out in the next video. So, so just got to throw out a number. Let me see here. I'll, get, I'll show you guys what I'm currently got for canola. We got about $1,700. So there you go, guys. You got some, some type of little hint. So if you guess it correctly in the comment section below, I'll give you a shout out in the next video or you guess the closest. Anyways, guys, if you guys aren't yet, hit that subscribe button smash that like button like everybody says. I'll see everybody in the next Farming Simulator video.